Well, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I woke up to some good news today. Um, a whole bunch of videos about the new McFarlane Christopher Reeve Superman. They all came out about two hours ago. Um, yeah, I was just thinking about this the other day, and I'm like, where, where is it? Why don't we have it yet? And here it is. It's just really exciting. Now, I, I don't know about the rest of you, but I had a really limited experience with, to you know, superheroes toys when I was a kid. Basically, there was just the superpower Superman, and I loved the Superman. I had it. It was stolen. This is a replacement. But, um, yeah, I eventually ended up with um, the Toy Biz one, which barely survived. It wasn't as good. And this was it for the longest time. It was just, just a basic generic Superman. And the idea of likenesses for the, the, the actors never really occurred to me, and there didn't seem to be many variants. There were very few toys when I was a kid. Um, the first um, likeness I ever saw was a little DC figure. I bought it, and I, didn't really th I was just so happy to have a Christopher Reeve likeness. I didn't even think about, I want a bigger one. And then I saw the Nika Superman, and I'm like, I have to have it. And for some reason, I took ages to buy it, but I did buy it, and also got the um, the super, oh, sorry, the Batman as well, which I just loved. The um, this one had a couple of flaws, but um, one of them was able to actually fix. But the one that really got me started, I think, was Wonder Woman. I saw this one, which is actually also a DC multiverse one. I loved it so much, it just started me getting just that scale. And I'm like, why didn't I buy the others? Like, yeah, and. Anyone can answer if it's actually McFarlane, because when you look at this, it looks like it's the same DC Multiverse, but unfortunately, I um, cut the box down to just a panel, and I cut off all the, um, the company information, so I have no idea who made that one. But um, I was pretty happy with this for a while. I had a, um, a chip off the nose, which showed the black plastic underneath. I just repainted that recently, and since then I've been really happy with it. It's been sitting next to my bed, and I've been looking at it every day, and I was like, but I kind of want the McFarlane one because we had just recently got the, um, you know, the um, Adam West one. And although the sculpt's, you know, not quite right, his face is a bit too, a bit too, his cheeks are a bit too high, and the colour's a little bit off, like the, um, like the six-inch one with the ribbon cape. Um, that seems to be where they got that colour from. But um, I was pretty happy with this, and I was looking at this, and I'm like, I really want the Superman. Chris Ray Superman, I really, really want it. And here it is. And it looks great. The sculpt looks good. The body looks good. They do seem to have made some new parts for it, but they also seem to be reusing some of the parts from other figures. Because for a while I thought, just get a basic Superman figure from McFarlane. It'll be in the same scale. It'll work. There's a couple that look like Superman, but they're not Chris Ray Superman, but they look like kind of his Superman. And I'm glad I didn't buy them because. I recently double dipped with um, a bunch of Transformers figures because I'm like, I didn't have a Megatron, I didn't have a Soundwave, I was just waiting for the Studio 66 ones or the cartoon colour ones and I just got really impatient. I just went out and bought a bunch of my favourite figures in the Wolf Cybertron line because I just didn't want to wait. And then like a week later, a month later, a day later, um, the, the, you know, the, the cartoon colour ones or the... Um, um, the Studio 86 versions were announced, I'm like, oh, if I just waited another day, another week, another month, I could have just bought those instead of double dipping. So I actually learned, and I didn't rush out and buy, which was right up until last week I was going to buy them, I didn't buy these other DC um, multiverse Superman figures that I thought looked cool, um, because I was waiting for the Crystal Reef, and it's here, so I'm so glad I did that, because... You do have these sort of examples where um, McFarlane did a couple of Superman. I bought them. I bought this one because it was the, sort of like the original style, but I hated the cape. I bought this one because the cape was nicer and I swapped them over. And this is more the material um, that the original cape was made out of. It's like a nylon. But um, still, his legs are too close together. He looks like he's going to fall over. This one, not like that. Um, so they've made this one now, the one with the smiling face has the legs like this. So eventually, <laughs> I think I'm going to have a new one that works. Although still the colour of this is wrong, it's more like the Dean Kane Superman. So maybe we'll eventually get um, a more Christopher Reeve accurate one in this line from the Superpowers sort of line at some point. But in the meantime, I have this and very soon I'm going to have the McFarlane Christopher Reeve Superman and I'm really happy because then I'm going to have like the trifecta or whatever. No, there's four of them. Like the 
Adam West Batman, the 89 Batman, and the Chris Rose Superman, and the Wonder Woman 77, because I think this is from the same line, but even if it's not, it passes. So, um, I no longer have to, you know, well, I like the Nika ones as well, but I have options now, and that's the thing, it's just amazing now to have so many options and so much range and so many variations, because when we're growing up, we just had the one. So, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I just want to make a video about the fact they're making the, the McFarlane Superman Chris Reeve figure. But aside from just saying the sculpt looks good, there's not much else to say because we don't have any other information. And all the other videos, people do for like two minutes. So I'm like, I want to talk about just the overall experience of, of getting these new characters and how fun it's been to collect them. But I'm going to go. Bye.